And welcome back to Castle Cove Sailing Club. It's the final day of the RS700 Nationals and time to meet the champion. So please introduce yourself. What's your name? Where'd you come from? Hi, uh, I'm Theo. I'm from Hailing Island. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm over the moon to have, uh, to have won the event. And uh, let me get this right. You've had a cracking nine races here over over three days but today just uh, a, a little bit light and and no sailing so an early pack up is that correct yeah unfortunately today we, we we've lost one race but thanks to really good race management and uh, forecasting the race officer decided to do four races yesterday um, in in really cracking conditions so maybe the best of both worlds you had nine races of trapezing and an early home <laughs> exactly for someone like me who is uh, six foot five uh, I, could, I couldn't ask for anything more. You weren't, you weren't looking forward to crawling around in the boat in, no, the, in the puffy not. stuff? <laughs> no, no, not at all. And you're, you're also, I'm going to get this wrong now, you're also the class chairman? Is uh, that yeah, what you call, yeah? I'm, I'm the chairman, yeah. And uh, it's really pleasing to see that we've almost doubled our numbers from last year. And it's a special year, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's our 20th anniversary, believe it or not. So. Uh, and you've got competitors here who are actually under 20 years old. I, I interviewed yeah. one of them a day ago. Yeah, we've got a 16 year old who's now in the class, some others around the 18 mark. So I think the fact that the boat is affordable really uh, attracts. And lasts. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, if you've got the option to, to go for a blast, then perhaps perhaps it appeals to people to, to than other boats. So. And I think I've got this right, so I think your first ever Nationals was here in Portland Harbour. Yeah, Alex, the, the original designer and builder from RS, came for the party celebration on Friday and, and told us this was the first ever Nationals at this club. So that's, uh, that's amazing. Well, it's obviously, you know, a good, good venue. I know I keep yeah. saying that. I, I am biased. Well, I, <laughs> I, can't, I can't sing the praises high enough for what an event has been put on. Obviously, I mentioned earlier the great race officer um, and the team out on the water that really, really made things like special. But not only that, the the club itself putting on a, a really good show great dinners every night the, the prices of food is just exceptional <laughs> it's, it's it's a real uh, eye-opener to see how it's done i mean it's my it's my home club and i didn't actually realize how many volunteers i felt everybody i knew was uh, here these last four days yeah. and and not only that you know we have got such a great um class secretary claire Sargent, who just every time pulls it out the bag even in the middle of uh Quite quite tricky times last year. Managed to get us. Yeah, she was pretty. She was pretty busy in the lead up to this event. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, she she really puts puts her heart out for it. So I, I can't thank her enough. Oh, but well, we're so glad to have you here. What's what's next for the class? Anyone it's, thinking of joining? Just uh, a little well, heads up. We we've got. Um, in penciled in a few a few training weekends one over the weekend and there'll be another pre-nationals training next year yeah we've still got a open meeting at Brightlingsea and an inland championships in november at oxford so not quite the end of season yet <laughs> no exactly we we tend to base our events more towards the end of the year because we we, we hope for those autumn wins well, yeah, good, good luck. It's been it seems like a late, <laughs> a yeah, late summer here. But exactly. Thanks so much for time. No, thank you. And many congratulations. Thanks, John. Time to meet the RS800 champions. So on my right, I have Mozzie, but can we have your full uh, introduction and tell us a little bit about who you are, who you sail with, and where you sail? Uh, yeah, so uh, Mozzie is what a lot of people know me as, but I- I, I had to ask your <laughs> real name actually, it's very embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, it's a nickname I've had for a long time, so that's what everyone knows me by, but I'm uh, Tom Morris, that's what you'll see on the sailing results. Um, and from Hailing Island Sailing Club, very proud resident of Hailing Island as well. And um, yeah, so with um, Guy in the RS800. Who's, who's actually our esteemed cameraman now. Yeah. So if, it, <laughs> if you say anything you don't like, he's just going to press off. <laughs> yeah, it's have to be very polite. But yeah, no, we've, um, we've been sailing together for, since 2018 in the 800, but actually go back a long time before that to sail a bit in 49ers together. Knew each other from 29ers youth sailing. So um, 
Yeah. You have that you have that rapport and he's pretty good at turning out the champions. That's uh, always yeah, been the case, no. I think. Uh, yeah, it's been good. But I think we've got a good group at the moment as well at Hisk, which is helping like with Theo in the seven hundred and obviously the boys came second, Rob and Tom also from pushing, Hailing. Pushing hard. Pushing very hard, yeah. So we've got a good group of sailors there at the moment, specifically in the in the skiffs. So So you said you obviously did the, the, the twenty nine, which is the feeding mm-hmm. class for the for the forty nine, the mm-hmm. Olympic class. What what was the attraction with the eight hundred? Um, well, I guy was going to be back around um, for a year or so, and I said I could stop cycling for a while and could pick up a boat <laughs> again. And guy, that's kind of on the legs, surely. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> the legs in the two hundred, and it's something guy had done before, and it's very similar. Well, once he introduced the boom sheeting, so I think historically the class had a cleat on the deck and that was quite a different style of sailing to the 49er. So that's more more helm having to do the work. And yeah, exactly. I think boom, boom sheeting's got to be the way forward, hasn't it? Yeah, it seem, I mean, it seems a fairly, I think both can be good, both got the pros and cons, but um, yeah, opening up the boom sheeting was how we used to sail in 49ers, how we sell in 29ers. So it was an obvious step if you want to pick up an amateur class you know 49ers can be a bit grueling if you try and take on the circuit as an amateur <laughs> yeah so, no, um, so that's yeah. the understatement of the year <laughs> <laughs> so the the 800 is just the perfect class for um you know getting that skiff racing getting you get the, the high speed, performance get the high performance but it's manageable they've got the weight equalization which really opens it up to a, a bro- broader church of people as well in terms of who can yeah, compete i think i'm i think i'm right in saying you're the only non-mixed team i've interviewed this entire championship yeah i wouldn't be um wouldn't be surprised and that is you know i think that's the other thing with the boom sheeting is opened up for more female helms or smaller helms like kids can helm as well because whereas before if you're doing the main sheet it was quite a high loaded main sheet with the purchase system in the middle so i think that's been a positive there's, and yeah there's lots of options whichever way around you want to sell the boat um now so that kind of does make it more accessible as a skiff it, you know they're always going to be more difficult boats to sail as a skiff but it's attainable, you know, with a bit of practice. So you yeah, there's a few out, couples, you know. and it's been yeah. amazing. A little bit about the championship: nine race series, and I guess you were flat out on the trapeze for every race. Alone. Yeah, I think this is the um, yeah the first nationals we've had where it's really been kind of like solidly windy throughout, apart from the last day. Unfortunately, missed the race. But well, we um, we we organised that for for the early pack up <laughs> and the uh, yeah get, get <laughs> beat, home beat the traffic. traffic. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's been absolutely fantastic conditions. Every single day has been flat wiring up, wind and down. Um, yeah, it's been a full send, fast reaches. So couldn't, couldn't fault the conditions at all. And what's next for, for both you and the class? Um, so next, uh, we've got the RS800 Inlands in a month's time, almost exactly. Uh, first weekend of October. Uh, so they're at Grafham, uh, really looking forward to that. Oh, that's one of my favourite yeah. <laughs> favourite inland venues. It's yeah, a... quite, I mean, it's a good body of water and it's also quite a good time of year to be racing. Everyone's done the nationals, everyone's up to speed and there's normally a good turnout there. And hopefully those nice autumnal winds. Yeah, yeah, normally good breeze as well. So yeah, that's what's next for me in the class. And then, yeah, that's it really. I've... Well, yeah. congratulations. I won't stop you with the pack up <laughs> anymore and, yeah. and safe journey home. Okay, Thank you. thanks so much, John.